Hey, hey, everybody, what is happening? Welcome to my channel, T Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my J -J Gemini. My Gemini. What's going on, Gemini? High Vibe Cross Watcher. Sending you all the love and healing energy. I love you. I hope everyone's doing well. Okay, keep in mind this is a general message. It's not a personal. If you want your personal, hit me up. My details are in the description box below, but only take what fits for you and your situation and leave the rest, okay? Um, choir, come to the front, and thank you for all your love and participation for each and every one of you. I'm so grateful for you. Um, choir, one, two, three, oh, T-Girl, T-Girl, magic and collective. T-Girl, 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 magic and collective. T-Girl, T-Girl, magic and collective. Come check us out and see what we're about. Ooh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we sing Gemini, 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 we are Gemini, 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 Yay! That's what's up. Okay, my booze. Let's see what's going on. Somebody's imbalanced. Yes, and heavily burdened from some magic. Oh, we've been getting that. Okay, somebody trying to do a love spell. That's backfiring. I don't know why. Maybe because they can't believe it's not working or something. What's going on, spirit? Yes. They are so upset that it's not working. Oh, it's not working because they possibly had you in a third-party situation. And they still in a third-party situation trying to call you back into their energy. But they're still in balance to so whatever they're doing. They're still juggling. They're still in this third-party energy, and it's too heavy. It's too hard to manifest you back, okay? I'm hearing, baby, come back. You can blame it all on me, but it was all this person's fault. Yeah, they're trying to manifest a two of cups with you, Gemini. Oh, my God. Uh, yes, a new beginning. Okay, Spirit, what's going on? Okay, so Gemini, <laughs> look, they don't want it to be over. They don't want it to be over, no. Okay, and what else, Holy Spirit? Could be an earth sign, don't have to be. Um, They want to reconcile. They were just like, look, I want to reconcile. I'm sorry, please take me back. Take me back. And you like, mm, you already know there's another woman somewhere involved, someplace, somewhere. They lying about some shit. Yes, it's two of cups energy like, mm-mm. And so you're not, you're not, you're not going for it. I'm hearing hauling, uh, hauling the notes. I can't go for that. No, I, I can't do that. So whoever this is, they could be obsessed with you. They could very be, um, they're they're obsessed with with winning. This is this is this person's problem. They want to win and move forward. This person's pissed off. They're angry. They want to come charging and racing in and everything. Yes, they want to come and race and charge in and invest in you. They want to come and travel, but they're at the hangman mode because they're mentally in prison because of all this conflict and chaos that they done went to the spiritual practitioner yes they did honey and that shit got laid to rest and now they stuck at the three of wands looking for you gemini the lovers trying to trying to figure out what road they gonna go down or how what path they gonna get to move forward to you and they spying on you and everything yes to see yeah they got their family spying they spying they got people looking and lurking and lurking and looking yes and some of them are driving by your house Oh, Lord have mercy. Mm. But Tedessa knows you ain't worried about you. ain't even studying these people. And they should have known, too, being in this high priestess energy, that that was not going to work. Spirit, why is the high priest? Why? Yeah, because why would, why? Why? Why should they have known that it was not going to work? Because they should have known because you're the high priestess. They should have known because Why? Knight of Pentacles is slow. When it's in the reverse, it's it's not slow. They did something impulsive and too quick, possibly. What's the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, spirit? They was holding on to you still. Possibly an old belief or something from the past that they were still holding on to. I get that maybe the magic was working at a point of time before you knew it, but now you're the high priestess and you're aware of those things. And you know magic won't work once you realize... Who is doing it and what is being done on you? 
Yeah, you healed. That's what had happened. You you ended up messed around and healed. Yes, and, mm, and now this person want to come towards you in a Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands energy. But you holding back from this person, as you should, because you know they're still in their shadow side. They got wishful thinking. They got options and multiple lovers. They're still in this Three of Swords energy. Third party, this got them imbalanced. Whatever magic that they did with the star, it has them imbalanced. That shit backfired. Okay, whatever mat it could be, you could be dealing with another Gemini ma magician or whoever. It doesn't. It could be any zodiac sign because everybody is up here. Okay, um, we got the cups, you know, the emotions. We got the pentacles. We oh, we got the swords and we got the wands. But whoever is coming towards you or whoever did this magic, it was nothing but wishful thinking, and they were in their shadow side because they thought they had they they they, they, child, they thought they could do this. And you are the star. So you're protected, heavily guarded, heavily protected by God and your ancestors. Yeah, you're the star. You can have your own public platform. You are some type of psychic. And you don't want to reconcile with this magic. <laughs> are the person that threw the magic at you? Oh, yeah, Gemini, they did it to you. They did it to you, Gemini. So you can come down their way. So they're trying to mind manipulate you, making you feel like maybe you miss them and you don't. Mm, what else, Holy Spirit? Why does Gemini need to know any of this? They say because the angel, that God protected you, okay? God is showing you elevation within yourself. So you can look back at the past and know how far you've come. Definitely, because you were at one point susceptible to this magic because you didn't know. You were vibrating in your shadow side as well. But now you're not vibrating in your shadow side. You've leveled up to high priestess energy. Okay? Your gods. Yeah, so now that's why this shit is backfiring. King of Swords then showed up. It could be a King of Swords doing this too. And working with this high priestess. But that shit got laid to rest. And now they feeling foolish. Because they didn't did something too impulsive. Risk taker. And now they regret. Why are they regret, spirit? Why? Because you're still here, still shining and lovely and beautiful and winning. And well, spirit, mm -mm. they was trying to do, child, I know they wasn't trying to do a, a love spell. They was trying to jack off. I'm just, I, I know it sounds crazy, but I mean, they were. Like, what is that going to do, spirit? What was they thinking of? And some of y'all knew that they were sitting in this nasty jack off energy and you blew, <laughs> you did. Some of you did, you did, you felt it, and you immediately blocked that shit. You're like, nah, we not having that shit. No, no, no. Yeah, they, they want a new beginning with you, though, that's for sure. They want to have some sex with you, but it's too hard. It's too hard to get back in your energy. You're too protected. You're too grounded. You're too leveled. Yes, Gemini, you. And you're guarded and defensive against this person. Like, you don't trust them. So you're standing in your masculine energy. If you're feminine, you're standing in your king of swords energy. You're speaking some type of truth on your platform as a high priestess. Yes, and it's got this person in the five of cups or whatever you're speaking about. What is Gemini speaking? <laughs> oh, you know about the pettiness of the bitch. Okay, that's what you're talking about, Gemini. A petty, petty bitch. Yeah. And you talking about the magic or the hierophant energy that you know that they went to to do this magic on you to get you to, to get them to uh, you would accept their offer. Yeah, but the, the will turned though. Tables have turned. Time has changed. These people need to up, keep up with the with the times of the universe, honey, because whatever they was putting out, honey, that shit did not work. It did it. It backstabbed and betrayed themselves. It was the ultimate betrayal to themselves. And this is the truth because you are the wish fulfillment. You still going to be getting wishes fulfilled. This person was being greedy and smug and holding on. And now they drinking heavily all in their emotions, crying because they're under judgment for whatever they done tried to do. And now they want to come and give you a page of cups offer. I want to work on this shit and reconcile and celebrate and come together and message you something. Okay. They're going to show up to you like they have a whole lot of. So be careful. Somebody trying to come back to you like they have a lot of love. Somebody that ghosted you from your past. That walked away from you. Whoever comes to you and communicates to you out of the blue. They're going to come to you with this king of cups energy. Like they got a lot of love for you. But spirits say block this motherfucker. Okay. Because they being petty. Okay. They want to win at all costs. Because they was doing magic on you. What is their objective and intentions Holy Spirit? What is this person's objective and intentions? 
Oh, no, honey, the Queen of Cups to turn you into this Queen of Cups in reverse and to keep you all in your head? What kind of shit is this? And make you regret that you walked away from them. This King of Pentacles trying to backstab and betray you by doing some type of magic. And Spirit said that's true, but the tables have turned and the wheel has turned. And it's a no, you're going to get wish fulfillment no matter what this person try to throw at you. It's your time to shine. Mm, this emperor, what about this emperor? Yeah, this emperor is a very impulsive, very angry. Whatever they invested in, yeah. They tried to get, they tried to turn, they tried to bend your will. And that was wishful thinking. That was like in their shadow side. Like you can't, you can't really bend. No, Spirit said not really. You cannot bend an earth angel's will. Period, says God. That's delusional and wishful thinking to think that you can bend someone's will after they've had some type of awakening or level up or whatever the case may be. This king of swords is feeling foolish. They are a risk taker though. They want to take a risk and offer you this knight of cups to this queen of pentacles. You're in this queen of pentacles energy. You're very loving and caring and nurturing. You're all about your family and the people around in your community. You know what I mean? You give them job opportunities. If you have your own business or run whatever the case may be. Yeah. So the will has turned for you in your favor. And Spirit said that's the truth. But um, because you went within, like I said, and had a spiritual ascension somehow, somewhere, somewhere. Yeah. And this is, makes this person feel bad. So they, they low-key mad at God. That's what I'm getting. They're low-key angry at God because you had a level up. Okay, so they feel if you had not had the level up, then you still be right where they're at, but you're not there anymore. So now they're in the three of swords and they want to come back in still playing these games and trying to juggle you, but you're too healed already. And then this emperor is looking at you like you are their wish fulfillment. Why is this spirit? Why is this emperor imbalanced? Like, cause he, he need to heal still. He in his shadow side, in his ego. The devil didn't show up, but I, I, I just, I, I'm getting like. This emperor likes a lot of options that bumps that pumps up their head. I don't feel that this is a real emperor because a real emperor don't need other bodies and options to make them know that they are the emperor. They are the emperor alone and by themselves. This person has a low self-esteem, whoever this energy is, trying to win at all costs and stuff. It could be a king of swords, air sign, knight of swords, very angry, impulsive. Yeah, you know who this is that I said I was trying to cause you heavy burdens with this magic because they didn't want shit to be over with you, thinking that if they would hold, if they would cause an ending for you or hold back money from you for moving forward, then you would come back to them. That's weird. Look, and that's a tower because you're not. Period. You're going to leave them on red. Yeah, bitch. Goodbye. I'm waiting on something better in my life. Yeah, because you already know this person tried to backstab and betray you, so you done laid it to rest. So they just come in, they just realizing that you're done with them. And that's the truth. And they cannot believe that you literally are done with them. They're like, how? Because it was a fated event for you to get to where you're at. Okay. I feel this person tried to hold you down and hold you back for quite some time. A king of pentacles do keep coming out. But it's possibly a king of pentacles that walked away from you that thought they was going to one up you and you was going to come running back. But now they're in regret and can't stress that they can't stress. They can't sleep at night and they're all stressed out because they showed you false love or they didn't show you no love or they showed up as the queen of cups. But I don't know. So Holy Spirit, what's going on? Why do the babies need to know? Why do they need to know? Let me see what I want to use. Um, they want to say something. Okay, we want to see what they want to say. Hold on, y'all. Let me get up and grab the other thing over here. They want to say something. They always got to say something. What the fuck they want to say, Spirit Lord? Oh, let me see what the romance angels say about this before I get into what the hell they want to say. Because I don't, I really don't care what they want to say because it's some bullshit. That's just how I feel, you know? Because honestly, the truth came out of how they really felt. Very jealous, very petty, very low vibration of wanting to win at all costs and one up you and keep you stuff. That's what made this, this was this person's wish fulfillment to keep you entrapped in a third party situation and keep you confused and in balance of what you wanted to do and where you needed to go. I also am getting energy harvesting off of you too. That's what I heard. Okay. So this person was using your energy to manifest whatever. I don't know what the fuck they was trying to do. What was they trying to manifest spirit? Spirit say money. Oh, was they spirit? What was they trying to manifest? A will of fortune. That's what they was trying to manifest. A will of fortune for themselves. 
an ace of pentacles. So they were energy harvesting off of you to leave you out in the cold. So they were using you. Does that make sense? To keep you stuck in this hangman flip mode squad. To keep you mentally entrapped. To keep you in conflict and chaos while they just move forward on with their life. Okay? So, like I said, that's why I'm giving down what they're trying to say. Because they're trying to, like, low-key do low you. So, what else, Spirit? What y'all feel about this? And they're, yeah. What else? What, what you got to say about this, Holy Spirit? Mm-mm. Yeah, they want to reconcile with you. Look, they want to reconcile. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And you like, mm-mm. Yeah, they want to heal family issues. Some of y'all got children with this person. Because the emperor is a father figure. But he been dibbling and dabbling and shit. He ain't got no business dibbling and dabbling in. Okay, what else, Holy Spirit? What else? Damn, Gemini, y'all really did. You know what? God really be looking out for y'all. Okay, because you done let go of their ass. You done let go of control issues. You ain't even trying to control this person. You don't even give a damn. You're like, whatever God's will be done, you're moving forward, upward, and onward, and closer to your... Wish fulfillment and your ace of pentacles. And this is what's making this person feel some kind of way. Because you done left them out in the cold. You don't want to reconcile. You see this person for who they are. And they're stuck in a they're stuck in a fork in the road in their life. Because they still need to heal. This person still needs to heal. They refuse to pay attention to the red flags. The spirit saying also pay attention to the red flags while you were with this person in this relationship. Go back and reflect on the things. How they tried to block you or... They, I don't know, they tried to, um, they tried to, I don't know, shit, <laughs> they're a Decepticon, <laughs> I made a mind with Decepticon, okay, that's who this person was, but they're a risk taker though, they're very, uh, they don't think before they take the moves and now they're bored or wherever they landed in because they did something impulsive, now it's caused the tower. Now they have the three of wands and they need to heal. Spear, what is the star and all of, what is all of this up here? Because what are they, yeah, they, they in a whole bunch of shit right now. And they want you to come fix it. Mm, mm, mm. Look, mama, please come back to me. I, I'm sorry. This damn liar. They still lying about whatever. I'm telling you, they lying. They got a three of swords. That's the first card. They still juggling you with this two of pentacles and this three of swords energy. And that's a heavy ass burden as them trying to come in and do a love spell to you. The angels are like, no, that's not going to happen. Maybe because this person called you in at a point of time before you was awake. Okay, because this is awake. Star is balance. This is awake. This is protection. Okay, your, your emotions are extremely balanced out right now and this is a heavy burden to this person because they want to make some type of offer to you but you ain't studying them shit no nah, they want to move forward yeah they do mm, and possibly want to knock you up and have so some of y'all do have kids they want to come back and have a baby with you or they want to come knock you up i feel like it's just to hold on to you yeah this person wants to hold on to you they want to hold on to your sex or hold on to your penis or hold on to whatever they're trying to hold on to Okay, why are they trying to hold on so hard, spirit? Because they're still trying to energy harvest off of you. That was how they was manifesting, but not anymore. They had a fork in the road. Yeah, they was trying to, ma look. They was trying to manifest their nine of pentacles, and spirit say this is the truth. So they were using you, and here they want to come to you, to message you, to travel to you, to something. But this is a hoe. This is a traveling hoe. Okay, yes, a page of wands. Yes, they want to, yeah, they still, they don't even know what they want. Our child, this person goes always. They don't have any structure or any discipline. Whoever will wet their whistle is what they will take. So anyway, they want to come to calmer waters with you, though, because they still want to energy harvest off of you, and it's a heavy burden to them. You've been through a lot with this person. You've been, this ain't your first time at the rodeo with this person either. And this is not the first time they want to make a page of pentacles offer trying to show up at the, mm -mm. The only king of wands this person takes action is, is the ace of wands. They do things impulsive. They have third party energies all over the place. They get bored where they're at. Okay, if you don't bend to their will or do what they say or whatever the case may be, they like to leave and go involve you in other third party energies. That's why the king of wands showed up. Okay, and that's what makes this person happy. Weird, weirdly, like weird. Spirit, what else? Why did this card flip? Yeah, Empress. 
So they know you're the empress because you're making, yeah, this is the emperor. Empress then showed up. They want to have a baby by you. Okay, somebody, and then it's, this could be a mother figure, okay, that's doing magic to keep you away from, I don't know. There's, there's so many, okay, there's other energies popping up. Okay, we got a baby mom. We got a mother figure. You got a couple people doing magic. Some of y'all got your children doing magic on you. They could be a water sign or an Aquarius, or they could be an earth sign child doing magic on you. Now, if your child is going through some shit right now, it's because they they've been dibbling and dabbling in some shit that they don't got no business trying to do. Now, I don't know why they was doing this, child. So if your child is suffering and struggling, um, for some of y'all, it is... They're being spiritually attacked by the person from your past. And then all, for others of you, the baby, the child, your baby, your child is doing magic on you. Your child is doing magic on you. Why are they doing magic on you? Because they, they feel like they, I don't know. You gonna need to beat, you need to whip your baby's ass. If they feeling that's justice, why are they feeling that that's justice? Because they think you mean and cold. Because you holding back money from them. Oh no, honey. Is you got a, a hunk, uh, some of y'all got some damn demon, demonic children. No offense, I'm not trying to offend nobody's kids, but I've just got to call it what it is. Spirit say, speak the truth and let the chips fall where they may. Yeah, some of y'all got some selfish, greedy. Uh, uh, they feel like you owe them something, Gemini, but you owe, you've given them everything. You've given them life and the opportunity for them to make the best out of what they want with their life, but they want to sit on your throne for some reason. So I don't know if this is a daughter or a mother. I don't know. You got some jealousy going on. And they went to a practitioner to do something to you because they mad. Child, yeah. Mm -mm. So it's going to fit different for everybody. Okay. Um, Tell me more about the child. What is, what is, why is the child trying to do? Child, this is a great. Uh, what is going on? The, mm, mm, mm. Child, I cannot make it up. Your child is working with groups of people. A spiritual practitioner. Okay, be impulsive so they can get a brand new beginning or something. They're angry about something. Oh, they're angry about you separating from a father figure. What is going on? So some of y'all kids angry that you done separated from their parent? Or I'm getting a father figure. So it's a child. I don't know. I don't know, child. Why is the child doing that? Yeah. What else is going on, spirit? Mmm, child, that, uh, I'm telling you, it's a toxic-ass motherfucking child or family situation. That's all I know. Okay, and they done reached out to the devil. That shit got blocked, though. So, like I said, if your child is going through hard times and, and, and hardships, okay, they, they don't have to be, you know, they could be any age. It could be a teenager. I'm hearing 18, 19. So, this is an older child, an older, young adult child, okay? family situation and a soulmate connection so this is a soulmate yes somebody very young whoever's in the delusions of grandeur this child is in their shadow side over they damn daddy child i don't even know so what is these children better watch the fuck out do they know who they mama and they damn daddy is Ooh, they better watch out. This is not funny because, you know, God don't respect people. He respects spirit. So if your child is in this low vibrational devil energy of doing this, God will see, see this child about it. He will see the child about it. Oh, my God. And oh, my God. Okay, because that's wishful thinking. This person, whoever this child is, yeah, they want you to reconcile back with their damn daddy. So they're like, okay, bitch, you're not going to reconcile with damn daddy. We want to, mm-mm, mm-mm. Look, Queen of Cups in reverse. This is how this child is looking at you because you won't reconcile with their damn daddy. So they invested in something that they are regretful and they have hard time sleep. Yes, it's magic. Y'all, y'all got some evil ass children and God don't look. God don't give a damn. Okay, he will punish whoever and all. He don't give a damn. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Because the, what the person don't realize and what your child don't realize is God had you walk away from the conflict and chaos. Your child didn't know all the shit that was going on in the relationship. How this man or this woman need more structure and discipline in this relationship. Your daddy was cheating on motherfuckers and shit. Yes, with another woman in secret unbeknownst to the baby or the child. Okay, and you are strong in this relationship. You held back a lot. 
from the child what they didn't need to, they didn't even need to know yeah they didn't need to know all they see is that you're not with the parent no more and they blaming you for it and that has nothing to do with nothing your child better watch out for god god forbid i'm not trying to put on nothing on nobody's babies but y'all please talk to your babies please i don't know what to say about this because what kind of child would do this what kind of child a greedy selfish low vibrational child that's what spirit said okay stop looking at people from the flesh and look at them from the spirit the actions are we perfect no but there's some mistakes that god will not look over and this is one of them because if they're trying to take out the parent because you know parents are a type and shadow of god like our kids that's how we learn the relationship with god is how we deal with our parents but whoever you spoil the rod, you spare that child. Okay, and I think that's what happened for some of y'all. Y'all didn't beat the baby enough. <laughs> Not that I'm an advocate of beating. Y'all know what I'm saying. Discipline and, and, and measure. Not overexerting and overdoing it. Because I've got whipped before when I was little. You know what I mean? That is not abuse because I knew what to do and what not to do for me to not get an ass whipping from my mama. Okay, and God bless her soul. She did the best and she is the best. It takes teamwork to make the dream work. Definitely. And what else, Holy Spirit? Mm. They was told, they got signs and synchronicities to let, they, they was told to hold back from this magic or they was going to end up. So I don't know. Yeah, they was told, but they did it anyway. So I don't know what that is. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know. What do you, advice you have for Gemini High Vibes there? What advice do you have for them in this situation? Lord. Still exercise love and compassion. You know what I mean? What else, Spirit? With the Ten of Cups. So it is, a fi it is family. It is a soulmate. Yeah. And it is over a father figure. So this child, I don't know if they a daddy's boy or a mama's girl or um, somebody, child. I don't know. It's over the daddy. It's over you not reconciling with the daddy. Yeah. That's why they call Five of Wands. Because you don't want to work things out or heal with the father. Because they're possibly abusive. Very flighty in their knight of wands energy. They act, sing they act single. Whoever this person is, they act single. They don't even act like they married. So you like, bye, bitch. <laughs> so you done spoke some truth. You cut them out. Spirits say, you know what? Just stand in your truth. Talk to the child. Let them know what's up. I mean, because a lot of times parents like to hide things from kids. And you know, you don't want to shit on the daddy or shit on the mama. And it's not that you, if you're not telling them the truth, you're not shitting on them. You're just letting them know what really went down and what really happened is why, you know what I mean? You held back from the parent. Maybe they mad at, I don't know. Yeah, and tell them about the other woman and shit. Tell them all about it. Like, tell them, don't hide nothing back from the child because they already doing too much a little bit. This child is old enough to understand. Ooh, Lord have mercy. So, yeah. And some of y'all just need to heal family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So, I am speaking to a child that did something foolish to the mama. Okay? And whatever magic that they sent, that shit got, that shit got backfired pretty much. So, if they're sick or having money problems or whatever the case may be, what do you, what do you advise Jim and I do? do you, I mean, because, I mean, ugh. Because you're going to be a parent always. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. You're going to have some hard decisions to make. Spirits say, yeah. And they was talking, yeah, spirits say, you're going to have to, you're going to have to, I don't know. You're going to have to cut a check. Yeah, you're going to have to, ah, you're going to have to release them, Gemini. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is a soul. This is, Okay. This is going to be one of the hardest things that you've ever had to do. So if it's an older adult child, because you've already raised this child, this child knows better. And Spirit's advising you that um, you're going to have to hold back from this baby or this child or whatever the case may be. Forgive them. Forgive them. Please forgive them. But move on. Okay. Yeah, because you know that they're extremely, you know your child is toxic. Or whoever this family dynamic is. Yeah, it's a child. She keep coming up. The son. I'm saying it's a female. It could be a male. It take the energy however it resonates. Yeah, somebody you've invested. You, yeah. This is going to be hard for you. It's going to be very emotional. 
definitely but you're getting guidance and you already know who this is and spirit's telling you to walk away because if you stay you're going to be in the five of cups trying to hold on to the past because right now some of you can't sleep or the baby can't sleep or the child can't sleep or somebody's having stressful moments in this marriage this relationship because they're under judgment so i feel the child is stressed out in the nine of wands right now because whatever they did like i said they got to be careful that it works just the same for the child than any because you know children could be karmic as well they are karmic as well depending on you know if they've healed learn grew and evolve but god is whipping this child's ass so i mean i'm just saying and i don't know what gemini should do spirit say walk away and stay the fuck away not like stay and well, spirit say yeah 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 you're gonna have to have some executive decisions to make um you got to start detaching from this 3d because you're in this world and you're not of this world um still forgive love you know and do all of that but you're just gonna have to leave this child out in the cold oh my god i hate to say that but that's what spirit said because a lot of y'all don't even know this child is in your their shadow side they come off all loving and caring and kind and they're like a little illusionist. Okay, Gemini, don't let them, don't let them trick you. Ooh, that's hard. This is going to be a hard one. But anyway, Gemini, I'm going to get out this energy. Um, That's what spirit has for you guys. Only take what fits and leave the rest. Don't force it because it's not for everybody, okay? I'll talk to you guys soon, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.